Hello everybody and welcome back to a new Space Engineers video. In today's video I'm going to be taking you through how I get started in the custom survival start scenario, the solar system. I'm going to be taking you through the vanilla settings on the Earth-like planet, showing you how I land, how we get set up and just giving you an overall basic guide to surviving your first night. So obviously um, you've got a lot of different uh, options when you start Space Engineers. So Scenarios tab, you've got the first jump and learn to survive, which is sort of like um, sort of story driven tutorials. First jump more so than learning to survive. Then you've got some other story based scenarios and overall like showcases of new features, etc. Frostbite is very fun to play through as well. But for this one specifically, we're going to be playing through the star system scenario. So this is where you get one of every single type of planet, you can have economy stations, etc. Um, and we're going to be playing in survival, no mods, autosave on. We're going to be playing with all of the vanilla settings, so we're just leaving this um, as is. Um, I would recommend you turn on scripts because they can be very useful. Um, but everything else, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And we're going to start this world together. So here we go. So once you've loaded in, you'll be presented with an option screen. It looks something like this, giving you all the different... Um, possibilities for you to spawn all the different planets and spawns you can have um, so if you hover over them you'll see a brief um, explanation and then the difficulty uh, that's preset in the game so that's just based on you know how much oxygen you've got how easy it is to generate power etc personally I'd say space pod is actually one of the easiest because you get power generation you get a ship that can move about um, all you need to do is find ice and you've got infinite power there so it's it's quite an easy one it's more so like the oxygen you need to worry about, etc. Um, per Tam, Europa, Triton, Mars, Moon, uh, uh, Titan, Alien, Earth. I'd say one of the hardest on here is probably the Moon. So this one you get a rover instead of a drop pod like the other ones. Um, but the problem with the Moon is there's no wind. So it's hard to generate uh, power. You need to make solar panels instead of uh, wind turbines. Um, and also you need to worry about oxygen too. So that one can be a bit more tricky, especially if you can't find ice. Um, but we're going to go with the Earth-like, which is considered easy. So we're going to click Respawn. And it will drop us somewhere on the Earth planet. Now, you can get bad drops very frequently. Um, here is actually a very good drop. So we've got a lake over there, which is basically infinite ice. Um, a pretty flat terrain. There's a bit of a ravine there. And they see those white dots over there? Those are ore patches. So when you're on Earth, the white... You see, the, you see them in the distance. All those white patches are ore spots. Um, so if you go up to them with a, an ore detector, you'll find some ores. Um, but just to keep in mind, the lake is that way, so to the right of the pod. And yeah, if you don't like where you land, or you land on a hill or something like that... Oh no! This was such a perfect spawn. It might clamp. They clamped. Cool. So yeah, if that does happen... Then press backspace and click yes, and then you'll just respawn, and then you can try that again. Um, but for now, here we are. Um, so we've landed. Let me just adjust my FOV real quick. I've done the graphics slider settings. Someone's been filming cinematics. Um, so here we are. We've landed. We are on Earth. Um, we've got our respawn pod, and we've got our basic tools. Now, the first thing you want to do is hop back into the seat, open your inventory, go to the inventory section, and then take out the pistol, the mag, and the data pad. So this will take us to the nearest economy station or we'll give you uh, the coordinates for the nearest economy station. So we're going to right click on it, create GPS marker, go to the GPS tab and then if you double click this, uncheck those for now, um, it will show on HUD and we can see the economy station is 47 kilometers away so probably not going to be very useful for now. But sometimes you get them a bit closer, I've seen them at like 12-15 kilometers then you can get there pretty quickly. Um, but those economy stations will sort of appear as you explore anyway. Um, but yeah, so for now, here's our pod. Here's our little starting area. I'm going to go into third person, zoom out here just to see what we're working with. So we are on a bit of a slope. Um, which is not brilliant. Really, we'd like to be on like a flat surface. But um, we can certainly make this work. So brief overview of the pod. You've got your O2H2 generator, so you input ice and then it will generate oxygen and hydrogen which will either fill up the bottles or you can use a survival kit if it's conveyed to 
fill it up, fill up your oxygen, hydrogen and your suit, so you hold down left click. If you put the bottles in your inventory, your suit will take the hydrogen oxygen out the bottles into your suit and it will give you a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, here's the survival kit. This is a big thing, so that you use this panel here, left click to recharge your energy, recharge your health, recharge your oxygen, hydrogen if the O2 generator is piped up. And then accessing this conveyor port here, just left click or press F. Go to production, we can create these basic components, we can create these basic tools, um, and we can also refine stone into the three basic um, ingots. So you can make silicon, iron, nickel, and you can make gravel as well, but it's not going to be a massive use to us at the moment. So first thing we want to do is we want to make a basic platform. So we want a platform with power generation production capabilities because this has no power generation. This has a battery, uh, which is over here, and once that runs out, this thing is dead. So we're going to need to start generating our own power. For that, we need a little base, um, and this has the capabilities to fabricate that little base for us. Um, so, first thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to start grinding down the pod. Now, there are components on the pod which we can use. So steel plates, you've got motors, you've got quite a lot you can use here. Um, as long as you leave the main things intact, so the piping, so I'll kit and the battery, you can pretty much remove the rest of the pod. So I'm just going to remove um, a few of these steel plate blocks here, just to get some steel plates to get in. We get a few steel plates. We get nine steel plates, just to lay out our base here. So I'm going to pop it um, I'll probably put the base like, I don't know, like right here. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. So we've got a basic platform here where we can uh, plop everything. Um, and we probably want one more steel block here. Press G to open your menu, uh, your blueprint menu. I'm going to put a little ramp here so we can go on. Now if you go to the progression tab, you can see what we need to build to unlock the rest of the components. So we need to build a basic assembler to unlock all these. Uh, we need to build an interior wall to unlock all these. So yeah, that's basically how this game works in terms of progression. You build one of these blocks, unlocks all these, and then sometimes you've got to build another one. So if you want thrusters, you have to build an O2H2 generator and a tank, and then you'd unlock the thrusters. Um, you can turn this off, um, but that's how they are, they they intend for you to play the game, I guess. So that's how we're going to play for now. It's it's not the best system, <laughs> if I'm going to be brutally honest, but it it works. Uh, well, well, it's in the game, so we're going to play with it on for now. Um, so yeah, the next step is going to be for us to start fabricating some components. So really, what we want to do first is we want to get some power going because. This base has no power, so the best way to do that is wind turbines for now. Um, but we're actually going to need to do a few things before then. So I'm going to queue up some interior plates, about 20 of them. Um, and I'm also going to queue up some steel plates. Actually, no, we can get them from the pod. So just some interior plates. And we're going to build an interior wall. So if you find the blueprint in the G menu and then middle mouse button on, it'll add it to your build planner. Once it's in your build planner, it will remember all the components you need. So then if you go up to a production um, block and click this little, this little settings cog here, it will automatically add all the components that you need to make that block that you've put in there. And you can put multiple blocks in there. Um, and then once you have made the components, you just hold down middle mouse button. Uh, you just click middle mouse button on a conveyor port and it will suck all the components out that you need for those blocks in your build planner. Um, or you can press this button as well. Um, but yeah, so to make those components, we're going to need or we're going to need ingots. To get those ingots, we're going to need to refine stone. So to get stone, it's pretty simple. We're just going to mine. So if you get out your drill, right click will destroy a large amount of voxels, but return you no items. If you left click, you'll destroy a smaller amount, but you will actually get the ores that you're mining. So first, what you want to do is right click and then head down to the stone layer. So there's no point mining this this dirt because yield is very poor so we want to go down to where we can actually see stone which is not too far so right here so just to give you an example if I left click on this there you go shout out 98 stone if I left click on this or that 
200, let's shout out like 600 stone. So then you want to just mine some stone. Uh, you can hold F while you're mining, it will pick up some, but a lot of it will still just fall on the ground as you can see here. Then if you go up to your pod, hold down Alt, and press middle mouse button, you'll deposit your ores. So that's the easiest way to deposit them. But then we want to actually process the ores. You have to do this manually with this one. So if you queue up this ingots item, if you hold down shift, it will queue up 100, control will queue up 10, shift control will queue up 1000, and then just drag it to the front so it prioritizes uh, refining that stone. So yeah, and you can see gravel, iron, nickel, silicon. Um, and then all we want to do really is just fill this up um, until these items are made. So what you can do is after you have refined a good amount of components and ingots, sorry, drag this to the back and it'll start refining these. Then once it can't, it'll start um, refining more ore. So that's probably the best way to do it. And then just load up stone until all these are refined. So yeah, the fun part. Okay, cool. So all our components are done. So if we go to the G menu, get rid of this landing gear for now, right click and then right click on the interior wall to add it to our toolbar. And then we middle mouse button, we got all the components. And then we just place it, board it up, and voila, we've unlocked all those new blocks. So we can get rid of this now. I just needed that to unlock a load of blocks. So if we go back to our G menu progression, we'll see we've unlocked all of these blocks here now, so we can build all these. Um, and a lot of them are quite useful, so that's why I recommend doing it. Um, next, we wanna build some power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build two wind turbines. now. The wind turbines need clearance. They need to be away from any static grids, any grids, they need, like, you know, it's common sense, really. Don't obstruct them, and then you need to have them, like, at least six or seven blocks up um, for them to work effectively. So I'm just going to push this out by, I don't know, so many blocks. Like that. And then I'm actually going to do another one. Probably... probably just go out another five blocks or so like this like that so you're going to want two wind turbines to start you off really um, and then we're going to get some columns um, if you haven't got the DLCs then you could just use interior walls I'm just using these because they look nice there is literally no other reason um, and then I'm going to go probably five blocks up and then the same over there then get the wind turbines and I'm going to pop them on the top like that. Now what we need to do next is weld them up. So we're going to go to our build planner, find the wind turbine and we're going to middle mouse button two of them. So that will queue up two lots of wind turbine components. If we go over here and we click this button, it will add them to this list here and it will start building them. Then if we drag this to the back like that, it'll start going through, and then we just need to basically mine stone until all of those are completed, um, and then we can fully weld up those those wind turbines. Now, this is quite a thin connection. You might want to do like full blocks for this. You might want to weld them up. It doesn't matter what block it is. If you just place the scaffolding, it's always only going to have one component. So no matter what the block is, it's very weak. Um, so I'm just using pillars because interior plates are very cheap, um, and they kind of look like power lines. Um, but if you're worried about lightning, because you can get storms and lightning will damage your base, um, it's probably worth welding them up. But for now, I'd recommend you don't worry about that. <laughs> Let's worry about getting the power up first um, and getting those turbines running. So a quick note here, uh, I've just made some stairs. Um, so literally just two interior plate blocks um, using this, this stair block here. Um, it's something you might want to do just to make it like much easier to get in and out of your mine. Um, and just make sure that you don't, you know, destroy your way out. Especially if you run out of hydrogen, it can be cool to uh, just have an easy way in and out. It's not necessary, but just a cool little note. All right, so it's done. So now if we just middle mouse button on this, all components successfully withdrawn, fly on up here, and we can weld up our wind turbines and finally get some power going. There we go, wind turbines are up. I don't know why I said turbines like that, but yeah, they're up. So as you can see, my hydrogen and power's taken a bit of a hit. So if we he head over to this valve kit here, hold down left click, we will recharge our power and refill our hydrogen as well. Now you can also recharge by just sitting in the seat. Uh, you can sit in a cockpit, a bed, a desk. I believe you can even sit on the toilet and it will recharge your power. Seems to be like any 
way of just fixing yourself to a ship or a grid will recharge your power. So, yeah. Next steps are we want to sort of set up this platform here um, so we can start building. So we want to get the basic layout going. So we want some interior plates and some steel plates as well. So I'm just going to grind down some of these because I'm not going to be using this pod for anything. Some people tend to turn it into a mining ship. Uh, we're not going to be doing that because... I kind of want to make a fresh one, but you can if you want. If you want to, just get rid of this seat, stick a cockpit here, stick a gyroscope somewhere, um, and then you just got to get some more thrusters going, so all the different axes, and then just stick a drill in front of the cockpit. And you've got yourself a pretty competent mining ship, but we're, like I said, we're not doing that. So, layout of the base. We're going to want to have a basic assembler. We're going to want a basic refinery going to want a survival kit so we can actually you know, respawn and things like that. We're going to want a cargo container to store some stuff and then we're going to need some conveyor pipes to connect that all together which we can't actually make yet. What do we need for conveyor pipes? Let's find out. We need to build a cargo container first. Okay I'll show you a trick for this. So there's a cargo container already on here. It's right there. So we just grind it and then place it and then weld it back up. Boom. We've uh, we've bypassed that that need. Um, so yeah. Now we can get the conveyors going. And boom. So when you're building your bases and ships, you're going to want to think about the conveyor ports that are already on the blocks. So you see how the survival kit has a, a conveyor port on either side. Those are the only ones it has. Um, for items to pass through blocks and for the conveyor network to work, these junctions need to be connected up either through conveyor pipes or just directly through the blocks. If the power on the ship or grid is failing or you've got no power, you may not be able to move um, items through it. You've got two types of conveyors. You've got large and then you've got these small ones as well. Only certain items can pass through here. Not everything can, whereas everything can pass through here. So the large ones are definitely the way to go, unless it's just like a small you know, mining ship or something like that. Um, so... I'm going to lay this out like this, so the basic assembler's only got one, so you just got the one port there. So we place that there, place the survival kit here, they'll be hooked up together. Um, and then if we place a tube, just to bend it around like that, the refinery's got one on either side like that, so if we place a refinery there, and then we're going to place another tube, and then a cargo container, um, and then we're also going to place... Uh, we can't actually build one, but we're going to place a battery. Um, I believe we unlock that soon. Yes, yeah, so we unlock that after we build the basic assembler. We'll place a battery there. And then that's basically our little survival area. So, yeah. Now, we need to get this all built. So, you can go into the G menu and just add this all to the build planner. Or, if you go around with your welder and you right click on a block that isn't fully constructed, you can actually add it to the build planner. Like that. So we just right click on everything like that. You see it's all queued up here. Now head over to the pod. Click this button. Five components could not be put, put into production. So the survival kit can only make like very specific components. There's a lot of things it can't make. So for instance we need, we need steel grids for the cargo container. We need metal grids. It can't make metal grids. However, we do have metal grids already on the ship. So we can borrow these metal grids. We can also use the components that already exist on here to sort of bolster what we need. So we probably don't need to, to make as many components as we have. Um, but queuing them up just for now um, because, you know, you can never have too many components. Um, also, what's worth noting is there is a hydrogen thruster on the bottom of this ship right here. Which has four metal grids. Which is very, very useful. So we're going to steal that. I believe it's raining. Yeah, it is. And then, boom, we don't have to worry about the metal grids anymore. Um, but for the rest of it, queue it all up um, and then just, you know, continue doing your favourite task. What I'm going to recommend you do is put all the components together, so lump them together like this, so you know how much of each thing you need. Um, if you just drag them into each other, you'll sort of combine them and it'll just make your life a lot easier. So we're going to lump all these together do so we know exactly how many of every component we need like that um, and then put steel plates at the back 
like that because steel plates take the most resources they take a lot of iron which you don't get from stone so what we're going to do is put the steel plates at the back and hopefully we can get enough from this pod to sort of you know by the end of it we don't need to make as many and use as much time you know mining stone so i'm just going to get rid of the whole like shell around this miner and just see how many steel plates we can get from it it's worth noting just be very careful when you're doing this that you don't cut the thing in half if you separate the battery from the survival kit you're uh you're screwed basically so just be very careful okay so welcome back as you can see there's not much of the pod left oh there's a light now what i will say is i'm actually surprised if you grind down this pod you can build a lot of this stuff a lot quicker so definitely recommend getting rid of that um but there's one thing we can't make and we can't get enough from from the pod that's small steel tubes so what you want to do first is after you've built the basic assembler, the basic refinery, you'll unlock a load of new blocks. Fantastic. We can get the battery placed. Um, you can put a Warfare 2 battery there, I guess, if you want. Um, place the battery down. But we can't actually build these pipes. And we can't get everything piped up um, until we have small steel tubes. But that's no problem. They're easy to make. Um, but what I wanted to show you first is once you get to this stage where you've basically got the survival kit going here, you want to get rid of the survival kit from, from this and transfer it over to there. Um, unknown signals, those will drop. If you go over to them, it's like a tiny little pod. It give you like a random skin for your welder or whatever. Um, and they also sometimes give you some money, maybe some better tools. Um, yeah, fuck it, I'll just show you. So this is the best way to fly if you just turn off your dampeners and just tap the space bar. Very uh, efficient way of flying. There it is, you can see the parachute. Oh boy, what am I gonna get? Oh shit! He's off. Which button is it? This one. Oh! Pajamas grinder. <laughs> right. 2000 space credits, 41 steel plates, so pretty useful. You can also just, like, grind down the pod. What I'm wondering is if they've got if they've got any small steel tubes I could nick. Because that would actually be pretty useful. Okay, so something I should have mentioned is stand in front of your base, go to GPS, create new from current position. Just call it like base or something. Just so you remember where your base is, because I may have struggled getting back a little bit there. Um, but yeah, we're back. Gonna fill up our energy. It's just turning night. Gonna weld whatever components we got from that drop onto the base. So as you can see, we're literally just missing small steel tubes now, which is good because we'll have them in a minute. Get everything welded up nicely. Oh, we missed some interior plates as well, but that's cool. And now we're gonna grind down the survival kit. Don't die, because if you die now, you're fucked. Come over here, weld this up, and we're in business. So we now have power generation, and we've got a base. So we can get rid of this. And all this stuff's going to fall out. So we want to grab this all, grab all the stuff. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to put the components, uh, the ingots into the assembler what we want really is iron and then the ores into the refinery we've only got, really got stone at the moment but yeah um and then we're just going to put everything else in there now if we mine some stone the basic refinery will give us a much higher yield than the survival kit so at this point you may have wandered across an ore patch you might have found some iron if you have Drop the iron in the refinery in here, and your iron problems will simply vanish. But for now, we're just going to stick some stone in there, refine some iron, go to production. Make sure you select the basic assembly on this drop down here, and we're going to queue up, I don't know how, much, how many we need, like 50 steel, small steel tubes for now. We're going to wait for this stone to refine, grab the iron, and then pop it in there. And I'll start making those uh, small steel tubes. I'm just going to get things welded up. I'm not going to weld this one up because we need access to those two for now. 
So we can weld that up. We can almost weld that up. So we can make 17 total. Weld that up. Uh, we might just be short. Oh, we're one short. We're one short. Okay, we just need to go a little bit more stone then. And there we go. Now we can walk in here, access this Kong turner, and we can access the whole inventory system because it's all piped up. Got the survival kit, so we can regen our energy, but we can't regenerate our hydrogen oxygen. So that's something that we're going to do um, in the next episode. But for now, we're going to get rid of this, take the bottles out of here, and then we're going to get rid of this as well. Then the battery, might as well just leave that. If you destroy it, you're not going to get the power cells back, so it's probably worth just leaving it. Um, and then, I'm going to get the O2 generator, and we're going to plonk it on top like that. So again, connecting it, pop that there, and then basically we just need to, to get that built. So the same sort of process, right click, withdraw what we already have, queue up whatever we don't have, um, Let's take everything into account there. Get rid of all that real quick. Right click to get rid of it. Add it again. So just a load of steel plates basically. Um, to get that welded up. Once that's welded up, you just put ice in there. Put your bottles in there and everything here is all connected. Want to get this battery built as well. So right click on that battery. Add that as well. Um, and obviously we're going to need a lot of nickel for that. Um, but that's something we're going to do in the next episode. We're going to be looking at finding some ores and actually refining ores rather than just stone, uh, which is going to make everything so much quicker and so much easier. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, take care, everybody.